boom, facial track. What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to the channel. I'm back out today with just Toby, out in the woods. Didn't really speak much on the intro because I wanted to just have the moment to myself to be honest. I didn't really want to speak too much on the camera. It's been probably about a month and a half, two months since I've been back out. Well, since I've been out in the woods should I say. So which gave me a chance to brush back up on my skills and just get the feel for things again, you know. Get back into the swing of things. It's quite cold today, to be honest, as you can tell from the hat and the coat. The floor's quite wet. Everywhere's soggy. I like this time here, as you can see. There's no bugs. No damn bugs, man. There's no bugs. And that is why I love winter. I love wearing my coat. I love bringing out coffee. You know, to warm up. I love bringing out my woolly hat. This is the time of year for me. I don't like summer. I've never liked summer. To be honest, next year, as I stated on one of my other videos, I'm going to be buying a canoe. And next summer, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, portages or, you know, expeditions, whatever you want to call them. And exploring a little bit, to be honest, because that's what I feel summer's supposed to be for, you know, bushcraft. It's okay in the summer, don't get me wrong. Some people like it, but it's just personal opinion. I'm sorry for the smoke. Might be blowing all the way past the camera right now. But yeah, guys, can't beat a good coffee out in the woods. I've got some fresh coffee. What? Let's have a look what. It's a Brazil Santos smooth flavoured chocolate vanilla aroma bourbon. Country of a ridge in Brazil, obviously. Brazil Santos. And I've got a pot of butternut squash and red lentil soup which I'm going to get the fire back going again in a minute and uh, have a walk around, get the soup on and just relax for the rest of the day to be honest. Cheers guys, just want to say a big thank you to everybody that's messaged the channel, messaged the Instagram and messaged me personally on Facebook as well. Uh, asking where where the videos have gone basically when the next video is going to be and just it interested in you know me in general and it's nice to know that people are out there watching me and waiting for the next video so again guys I want to say thank you for that and over the winter I'm going to try my best to get back out but as I said my routine's changed a lot since the last video on YouTube. There's a lot more things that I'm doing in my life now and a lot more things that I have to do. Uh, a lot of things going on. We're not going to go into too much depth about those. I'll probably explain on the next video. Some of them are negative and some of them are actually positive so I've just not really had the time to get it. I know that sounds like a crap excuse but it's the truth at the end of the day. Sometimes it's hard to get out every weekend and do videos but I love winter and I'm going to try my best to get out, guys, so... Thanks for clicking on the video, man. Fresh coffee, baby. Mm -mm. Oh, I drank a bottom bit. You know, with the coffee at the bottom. Coffee thingies, whatever you call them, coffee, I don't know. The coffee grind. As you can see here, guys, I just quickly knocked up. A tripod over here, a bit of paracord hanging from the top, a little hook and notch to hang my pot off, as you could already tell from the video just. I did get two of these from down here and the other one was from up there because I'd, I shot a film, uh, which one was it now? I did 
the turnite hammer stay just over there and I couldn't find the third leg to my tripod, one that was straight enough anyway, so I walked over there and found one that I'd used a few months back, so I just made use of it again, which is why you could probably tell there the little bit of burn on it, because last time we was here there was three of us and we had a, a raging fire, you know, so. Can't beat a tripod, guys. Pretty simple. Here I've just got a piece of string. <coughs> Just whack this for it. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, as I said, it's a piece of string, stick through the end, and the other part, the hook and notch, which is at the bottom. And all I do is just drop it down to where you want it, put it through the back side and wedge the stick at the back between the two back legs. Pretty simple, but effective. Oh man. Okay guys, for those of you that were wondering what this bag was when I first came into the forest this morning uh, as I was walking into one of my favourite spots this was up against one of the trees man it's just full of, as you saw earlier, rubbish, plastic, cans of beer it's disgusting man, guys like I'm not saying, you know this is you, but if you are watching this video and you enjoy coming out to the forest with your friends, as I can see what's happened here, that's fine. If you want to come out with your friends, that's cool, man. You can have a fire, do what you want, as long as you're responsible, safe, and you leave no trace behind you. And come on, man. Talk about leaving no trace, guys. It's disgusting. Look, our world's already F U C K E D because of plastic and you got people leaving this stuff around on our forest floors man it angers me please take it back out with you man it's in a plastic bag for god's sake like you know it's not like as if it's lying all over the floor loose you've put it in a plastic bag that's the first step you've bagged it up just take carry it out with you man just leave it by one of the bins like as, as you first started to hike in, or where, whatever it is, by where you parked your car, just leave it there, man. Don't leave it on the forest floor, because it's messing up our world. And two, animals are dying from it. 
Leave no plastic. Bin your rubbish. Well, I was just over there speaking about the plastic oil. I was letting my suit cool down over here because when I took it off, it was red hot. I do apologise for the airplane noises up ahead. This area must be really popping for the small aircraft. That's all you see. It's never big planes, just small two-man aircrafts always coming through the line of trees. Hmm. Butternut squash and red lentil soup. This is my favourite. Oh, it's lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> Toby has got. It's like a 100% chicken breast. Bone wrapped in bacon, I think. I'm not actually sure. Put the wrapper in my pocket. Let me just have a look. Is a jumbo chewy chicken twist. Oh. No plastic on the floor. Yeah, so he's getting absolutely stuck into that at the moment. I would like to take this time to just ask you. Ask you. <laughs> I would like to take this time to just ask you. If you're enjoying the video so far and you've watched any of the previous videos, make sure you hit that like button guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel, you know, it means quite a lot. Since I've been off, I've gained about 20 subscribers to be honest since the last video and I haven't actually been that active so I'm really uh, chuffed about that to be honest. I'm just hoping over the winter I'll probably get a few good videos in get those views up and get my subscriber count up to a thousand I was really on the ball earlier this year and my aim was to hit a thousand subscribers by the year's end and um, I think coming to think about it now I don't think I'm actually gonna hit that don't think I'm actually gonna hit that sorry you know I'm halfway that's that, that's cool for me 516 subscribers I think I'm on That's cool for me, man. There's another one of those little aircrafts. Butternut squash. Mmm. And red lentil soup. Is the way forward, man. Mmm. -hmm. Thanks, Mum. Fire's gone out now a little bit. Toby's still chewing on his bone. Wanna. Switch the camera off for a little while, finish my suit, have a walk around and start tidying up after ourselves, covering up, leaving no trees.
do the best you can. And today, it's the best I can do. It is meant to be raining really heavy later anyway, so I should be okay. Had it have been summer, I would have probably bought a big canister with me to put it out, or probably walked a few miles to fill up a water bag. But I can tell that's out now. Yeah, so I've tied everything up and have a little shoot of the Axiom, my slingshot. It's been a while. Couldn't find anything to use as a target, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bread roll <laughs> that I bought for my soup, which I didn't eat. I'm going to put it up on that hanging tree there, and we'll probably be okay to leave that, to be honest, because, you know, a squirrel can have some dinner or a bird, whatever. So, not like we're polluting the forest floor. So yeah, let's hang it up. Any problem after watch is Toby Lopes to chase stuff because he's a hunting dog. Anything that I fire out of my hand. I'm gonna shoot one this way. Dog, yeah. So damn close, man. Okay, let's go. Bam! Come on. Have some of that. Straight through the hole, boy. No. Dinner for you, squirrels. Okay. Let's head out of here. It's been a good day. Excuse the bedhead guys, I had a hat on for about four hours so my hair looks like Wolverine. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you, uh, my new bag, I'm not actually sure which backpack it is. I know it's a small pack, it's probably a 20 litre to be honest, maybe a 22 litre. Uh, as you can see from the badge it's Fjall Raven and I am absolutely buzzing about this bag. Why? Okay, so going back to last week, there is a store by us, uh, for you American guys that are watching, it's a place where companies send products um, and this big store sells them products on for charity, basically. So you go in there, there's lots of women's clothes, lots of men's clothes, um, sometimes they have little bits of damage on them, like a zip missing or a s screw, a screw missing. Jesus Christ, talking about myself here, uh, <laughs> or a buckle missing. Um, and yeah, look, there is some good stuff that you find in there. And my girlfriend was looking at the backpack section, and she sent me a message on Messenger while I was at work, actually, and said, "Is this Fjall Ivan? This is the brand that you like, isn't it?" And I said, yes, it is. Where are you? She said, New Life. I said, how much is it? How much is the bag? £15, guys. 15 English pound I paid for this bad boy, man. Like, I was over the moon. Like, literally, it's the perfect size for a day pack when I'm just coming out, having a coffee, like today. Um, I have scoured over the bag and looked over it and I can't find one fault or one blemish nothing wrong with it at all i don't know why they sent a bag to them i'm not sure but looking online i think it's probably about 130 pound backpack right here and i got it for 15 pounds so yeah man that's my little bit of luck that i had last week Ugh. it's been a good day if you enjoyed the video guys, 
make sure you smash that thumbs up and if you're new subscribe to the channel I'm head out with Toby now probably got about a 25 20 minute hike back out the bracken's still quite tall to be honest so look at that I said no bugs earlier the bugs have started to come out now little flies not too bad though they're not the ones that bite you um, yeah so we have to bloody rabble through the bracken so takes a little bit longer to be honest let's go till the next video guys I hope you enjoyed it peace